Welcome back to Tabletop Jason. I'm Jason and today we're back with another unboxing. So you may recall I did a quick review of One Night Ultimate Werewolf and I wasn't as kind to that game as I was on some of my other reviews but after getting the chance to play it with my kids a little more we discovered just how much fun it is and even though these games say 14 and up um, my seven and nine year olds were good at this game and it was fun so I told them I'd pick up another one because the best thing about these one night ultimate games you can combine the games to make it more challenging and each one serves as a standalone as well so we picked out one night ultimate super villains so let's see what's inside this box One Night Ultimate Super Villains. Three to ten players, ten minutes per game, ages 14 and up. Produced in 2018 by Beezier Games, is that how we say it? One Night Ultimate Super Villains. Players take on the roles of heroes and villains, each with amazing superpowers. The vile triller of trio of Rapscallion, Tempress, and Dr. Peeker are intent on getting away with their crimes. Meanwhile, the members of the Super Club of Overt Powers, including Mirror Man, Self-Awareness Girl, Detector, Switcheroo, and Roll Retriever are out to stop them. Throw in the mad scientist and his intern who have their own agenda and the world will never be the same. It's based on One Night Ultimate Werewolf, and includes 16 roll cards, 16 tokens, rules, getting started guide, and a free app that runs the game. Combine with other one night games for even more domination. So I hope I'm right about that, that you can combine the games. So let's see what's inside here. We've got the instructions. Oh my. What do we have here? We have a picture that I'll be hanging on the wall of my gaming room when I someday have my own gaming room. What else do we have? We've got the contents. Okay, quick instructions. And if you've seen my other unboxings, you know I don't really go over the rules in these. I just kind of show what's in the box. And eventually I do a separate video to go over the rules and my thoughts on the game. And sometimes we even do a playthrough. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. One. Okay. One Night Supervision. Vil bleh, villains. The free app. The app is cool. I can't show you because I'm recording on my phone, but the app is cool. It lets you pick all the cards that are involved in the game. So it does have the same backs as the werewolf one. Let's see what we have for the we'll look at the art real quick. Like <laughs> this art is silly compared to the werewolf one. And the werewolf one is silly too, but innocent bystander. Wait. The tokens. The tokens don't really, if you use the app to play, you don't really need the tokens, but they kind of show you, you can have them as a reminder for who's in the, which characters are in the game, because you can either pick a suggestion of which characters you use based on the book, or you can pick your own. So we've got the innocent bystander, the mirror man, the temptress, temptress, she reminds me of Poison Ivy, kind of, Rapscallion, maybe Joker, Dr. Peeker, I don't know who he's supposed to be like. The henchman, the evil meter, the intern, and the mad scientist. 
So what separates good from bad? I, oh, duh. It says hero or villain. So you know in the in the original game you have villagers or werewolves, and here we've got heroes and villains. Annoying lad. Oh, he does look annoying. Roll retriever. This is some kind of '80s super dog. I kind of remember. Remind, remind me of that. Detector, and finally, flipper, switcheroo, self-awareness girl, and voodoo. You know, there's not. Oh, I. Hmm. You know, in the other one, there's like the werewolf cards, but there's no werewolf cards in here. It must just all be villains. One of the rules are a little bit different. I don't know, we'll find out when we try playing. But, that's it. Like I said, a short and sweet game. Whoops, I'm throwing everything around. Huh, oh well. But, not a lot to these, because it's just a card game in a cool box with cool packaging. It's a fun game, I will. One Night Collection number five. Okay, they're all numbered. You know, as I get these, we'll review them, we'll add. I think, uh, in closing, since my original review of One Night Werewolf, I was kind of soured on the game, and now I'm not, I may combine these and then do a joint review of the two games at once and just kind of go over how, how the game works when you add the expansions to it. But I won't do that next week. I'll have something else next week. So make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss that video. And if you liked this, go ahead and click that thumbs up. It helps me out so much as I continue to grow the channel. So until next week, thanks for watching.